guys, what's up? Your host over Lord Tico here. How you guys doing? Bringing you guys so mag. This is my first gameplay of mag in like almost a month. As you guys know, the news are already spreading and the PlayStation Network is already back. At least the online services for online multiplayer. So, the first thing I did is hop on to mag. And this is my first game here. I'm playing some suppression. Team Deathmatch. 32 players versus 32 players. And uh, it was the first first one I could join since you know it's a game mode that requires at least the amount of people. And unlike another video where I posted up before, you can't say, "Oh, you're picking on noobs," because most of the people that are on right now are actually people that play it regularly because they've been waiting forever for the system to come back on. So the first thing I do is I try to get a kill streak because I want my music changed. And as you guys know, whenever you play Mag, as soon as you get a five kill streak, you get music changed, and the music changes. And that's the best thing I like about kill streaks in this game. <laughs> but anyways, so here I'm using my loadout. Uh, what do you call it? I'm using my Tamsin with a four grip suppressor silencer or and uh, and a four times scope. Um, I'm using my medical kit fully upgraded. I'm using my sensor jammer fully upgraded, which pretty much make sure I'm a ninja. Nobody can detect my running around. Nobody can see me running around in the map. And uh, Silent footstep, but and I'm using an acoustic locator, which pretty much like triples my range of detection of like shot detection. So even if somebody uh, has a suppressor or silencer close to me, then I still detect them if they're close enough, you know. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's actually something that snipers use or people that want to detect other other ninjas should always use an acoustic locator, because the motion sensor in this game is not that useful, because Whenever you play against people that know how to play, uh, you I mean, the sensor jammer beats out the motion sensor. So if you play a motion sensor, you're pretty much only catching people that don't have a like, sensor jammer. And anybody who's really good at the game, or it's like a, a, a decent killer and has like a pretty high level, usually has a loadout with a sensor jammer. So that pretty much just takes care of their motion sensor. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy some of the kills I get here. Uh, I get myself into some pretty tight spots like on purpose because I'm like I'm just going here and see what happens. But I really, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Look at this guy shooting me while I'm in the ground. No respect. No respect whatsoever. But yeah, for you guys that are not familiar with MAG, MAG is a massive action game and do not hate on the graphics, okay? I want to see any other game like Call of Duty play 256 players in one game and have virtually no lag or very limited, limited lag. Uh, so you, as, as I already told you guys at the beginning, this is the 32 on 32 for you guys that don't know Mag. 32 on 32, and um, it's the smallest game mode that this game has. 32 players versus 32 players, team deathmatch. And domination, the maps are huge. I mean, it's like the biggest, it's like maps, think Battlefield, but with like 128 people versus 128 people. Battlefield size maps or maybe a little bit bigger. But, um... Yeah, I mean the lag in this game is not bad at all. I mean every now and then you'll have a small lag, but it's not something that is game breaking like other other first person shooters. Because uh, Mag uses dedicated servers, and of course they had to downgrade the graphics to be able to support everything that it is in this game. But I'd rather have uh, subpar PS3 graphics, even with 720p, than have lag and have only like what. 8 16 people online or something like some games still have right now. I, mean, I don't understand some things like uh, what do you call it? Like Killzone, I believe Killzone 2 had 32 players online, and Killzone 3 has like 24 something. I'm not quite sure, I can't remember right now. But that is something. Look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to knife this guy, and this guy just moves, and then I look the other way, and there's another guy right there. It's like I was trying to knife two people from the back, and the other guy's coming from behind me. Then one out, one other one pops in from the front. It's like I killed two, and another one pops back up from the front and then another one pops back out from the back there's no way I can survive that thing but yeah I don't understand I mean I think nowadays we should have the technology to be able to have more people than just 16 people on regular online games I mean if Sipper if Sipper could do it with Mag on the PlayStation 3 and this Mag came out um, January last year February I believe I mean the beta has been, go has been going on I think since late 2009 I'm not sure can't think about it right now, but uh, 
I mean, if back then you could have done this and you could have done it in a game where you actually had like almost no lag and playing with 256 people, which is a lot more many times than the average uh, online FPS game can have online players online. And with dedicated servers and very, very limited lag, that is a very big accomplishment. And I don't know why more games are not doing it nowadays. I think they should take an example for MAG and try it out. Try dedicated servers on for size. Now, I know that dedicated servers are also something that, uh, what do you call it, are more expensive. Uh, look at this guy, he's dead. But are more expensive to keep, but in the end, they're more rewarding. And you don't have a thing called host banish, which is pretty much the host of a game is the one that always has the best connection and they're pretty much a little bit ahead in time uh, from everybody else alright so I always do this, why do I always go up here anyways yeah so I, I, I take my chance and I go up here and I kill the that guy, I was gonna line for him and somebody killed him instead I don't understand what happened there I didn't even see the shot <laughs> I guess it was a sniper, somebody gave him a headshot but right here I made a mistake I should have taken care of the guy I made a mistake right there, but there was another guy coming right behind me anyways. Another guy was following me ever since I went up up there. Because I remember him, but I thought I thought he wasn't going to make it. I thought I was going to be able to like just turn back in time and kill him. But, uh, yeah, I should have just killed the guy that was looking at me first, instead of killing the one that was on the floor. Yeah, that's, that was my bad. That cost me to lose right there. So there's not much left of the game. But, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I mean, this is my very first game. And seriously, I mean, I felt I felt kind of rusty. I think my aim was kind of off, but I mean, I've been no, 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 this, this is epic right here. No, no, no. I'm like shooting right through. I'm like, come here, headshot, punk. <laughs> but it's just Mag is just one of those games that people just get addicted to. Mag is not like any other first-person shooter. It's a game that requires t teamwork. And uh, for those people that play Mag, it's a, it's a t the kind of game that you either like it or hate it. Because it's the kind of game where you can't just go on on a one-man killing spree and just be the one to win the game, you know? You gotta do everything as a team. As a team is the only way you can win. And unless you get yourself a good clan, a good group of people that you can talk to and, like, work together, it's impossible. Look at this. Alright, this, this, is, this is where I die, I believe, somewhere around here. Because, uh, let's see if I kill this guy. Die! I hate the, uh... What do you call the? Look at all my people. They're dying. It is so sad. And they're, they're, it's not, they're not like newbies or anything. These are other people. Because they're a part of a clan, as you guys can see the clan tag. So I go up here like a noob. Like on purpose. Because I always do that. Whenever I see like the game is ending, I just rush it. I don't care if I'm going to die. <laughs> I start to get as many points or kills or whatever. I, I really don't care about KDR, even though I usually do pretty well. But uh, let's see what the score was here. I think it was 26, 6, and 5. I ended up the top person. Not bad for my first game. But uh, 26, 6, and 5. 26 kills with 6 deaths or 6 assists. I don't remember right now. Okay, 6 deaths and 5 assists and the 9 kill streak. My usual kill streak thing is like 14 and 15 or whatever, but I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Your host of Bulortico is out. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Take care.